Hey guys, TSG Lover here. Um, today I'm going to make a video about EVOS. Um, I've been, well actually I made a video but I didn't actually upload it. But um, this is a video uh, discussing what the EVOS do and generally how they are, what, what plays are suitable and good for making it competitive. Um, I want to talk about the EVOS which you should be thinking about and the EVOS which you shouldn't. Um, I won't. I won't display the evils that I'm actually. I actually don't care for. But I will talk about the ones that matter. Um, okay. So if you're thinking of making evils, uh, this is a really good time to start. Mainly because the the, the combo cards for the deck are very cheap. Um, in if you're English, which you're probably not, because I think most of you guys are Americans, but. Um, the combo cards from Order of Chaos, which are good for evils, are roughly about two pounds each, which is about three dollars, around that. Um, it really, really cheap deck, <laughs> and it's really good as well. Um, okay, so I want to talk about the evils first. Firstly, we have Evil Tile Najasho. This card came out just recently, but it's really good. Um, when it tributes, when it gets tributed, you can special summon Evo Saw from your deck. Another one, which is also important, is Evotar Wesler. This one allows you to special summon an evil saw from your deck when it is flipped, and it has 1900 defense. Okay. Now, the evil saws that you should be thinking about in this deck, there's only three of them. If you do what, if you did see the YSS Atlanta uh, deck list for evils, which I really, really enjoyed watching, it's kind of what got me into it. Um, uh, you will see that he only ran three particular evil cards, evil saws. I mean, Volcano, which allows you to special summon an evil saw from your graveyard when it's summoned by an evil tile. Diplo, when it's summoned by an evil tile, you can pop a spell or card, spell or trap card you control. And Serato, which when it's summoned, you can. Uh, it goes up to 200 and it goes up by 200 to 2100 and then you can attack and uh, let you search for an evil so it adds some really good consistency um, in Galactic Overlord there's going to be a new spell card which allows you to add an evil tile or evil saw from your deck to your hand that card is going to be the key card that's going to push evils over the edge and make them a tier 1 deck I'm just saying that okay now we've gone over the evil saws so there's not really much to talk about for there but I want to talk about some basic combos which made Evos so great and actually managed to get top sides too. Okay, so the main combo is based around this card, Evos, Evo Tile Najasho. Now you have, let me just move that back, Enemy Controller, which you run free, and Evo Force, which you have run free of as well. Um, okay, so both of them have the ability to tribute a monster. Okay, obviously you tribute this. Okay, obviously enemy control, you know what it does, you get a free brain control if you use Najasha, because Najasha, when it gets tributed, you special summon Evil Saw. So, you tribute, if you take over their Tengu, you special summon a, I don't know, a Diplo, a Diplo, or you summon a Serato, and you go exceed, which is basically the best thing to do. Okay, so you lo they lose their monster, you don't lose advantage. So, cool. Um, next thing is Evo Force, which is the main card. Um, what it does is uh, you tribute an Evo Tile monster, so you tribute this, and then you special summon an Evo Saw from your deck. So, and it's treated as if it's special summoned by an Evo Tile monster. So, if you special summon Serato, it gets its effect. You summon Volcano, it gets its effect. The main thing that makes this combo worthy of being tier 1 is that the Jesho gets a special summon another Evo Saw from your deck. So, for the cost of two cards, you get two cards. And your opponent, if he tries to Solemn Warning, okay, you negate one of them. Oh, you negate Evo Force. This one still goes off because tributing is a cost. And then you summon your Evo Saw, and then they've dropped themselves down by 2,000 points. And then you proceed to attack or go into thing. Okay, but one play that I've noticed I've been doing recently, especially on Dueling Network, 
is not with Najasho but with Wesler. Now obviously Najasho play is still great and it's the main play that you'll do. But when you're going first, or if you're going second, right, the fact that Westlow has nineteen hundred defense makes such a difference. If it had eighteen hundred, it would be bad. But nineteen hundred is what makes it good. Okay? So obviously first turn you set this and usually I wouldn't do anything else, I'd just set this because it keeps it anonymous, it makes me look like I'm conserving my hand. It looks like I might have a gauze, because I don't want to overextend my back row. However, when they attack with possibly a Thunder King, which usually will be a Thunder King, because they'll think, oh yeah, it's a Sangan, they're trying to, you know, build up their hand before they go overextend. You find, they find out it's a Westlow. Obviously, usually when you play we um, Evotar's Evos, they won't have a side threat. And then, you proceed to summon Serato. Depends on what your opponent was using. If he uses something, if he uses something like Fossil Diner, then you're fucked. But, if he's using something like Thunder King, then you can summon Serato and um, attack over their monster, and then you get to search, and it only costs you one card, so it's a really good advantage. However, what you can also do from that point is, I've noticed that a few people are actually setting cards before um, attacking, so they don't do it in their main phase too. I don't understand that, but they do. Um, I think it gives too much information, so they attack, you summon Diplo. Diplo allows you to pop their back row, okay? When your short time comes, obviously they haven't got a back row now on this. I mean, I'm, I want free MST just to make absolutely sure my plays go through. You summon another evil, and then you exceed into, so wait for it, Zenmeister. You know what Zenmeister's effect is. I can't really read it to you because mine's in German. But you detach one, and you flip one monster you control face down. Because you haven't flipped up Westlow, you haven't attacked with Westlow, you haven't summoned Westlow this turn, you're allowed to flip it up into attack mode, and then it gets effect. And because you just detached an Evasaur from his effect, you can summon um, Volcano, and then you can special summon whatever Evasaur you want, and then you go into Lagia. So it only, and you haven't actually used any cards in your hand except for the one that you use to go into Zenmeister. And if your opponent doesn't find a way to get rid of Westlow, because you obviously will negate their summon with um, Nagia, then next turn you can just do it again for absolutely no cost whatsoever. You flip it down, because you haven't flipped it down by yourself, like you haven't um, attacked or anything, you flip it up again, you do its effect, you get another card, and you go into another Exceed. And that's it, you just summon multiple Exceeds just off one Westlow. Okay? And the fact is you're running three of these. So that you don't even need to have Evo Force. Even if you have Evo Force, you can just tribute this after this has been used up and then just proceed to do stuff. Yeah. One thing that I want to talk about quickly is how the play um Utopia. I've noticed that recently, this is not really to do with Evo's exactly, but I do tend to make advantage of it because I run Econs. Like what I end up doing is um here they have a utopia on their field. I just be I'm I'm me. I'm the guy playing me. <laughs> and um obviously I have Najasho. Well no, Najasho. And then obviously I activate Evo Force, tributing. Not Evo Force, um ugh. enemy controller. Take control of their Utopia. Obviously I special summon, do my shenanigans. And then I just go straight into Utopia Ray. And and they don't, they don't get their monster back. So it's a really good way to take, contra take control and turn their Utopia into yours. And it only costs you one card and you get loads of monsters. But the thing is, because of the way that the deck works, the, the combos and stuff like that, the deck is potentially tier 1 by far. What it does how it how it gets his advantage. I end up when I play, I do my stuff, especially that Zen Meister combo, I do it almost every game. Because I usually have so much back row hate that they never be able to stop it. Obviously they can use stuff like Maxi, but I don't really let that stop me because I just end up summoning a Lagia and a Dolka. And then it doesn't matter what they've drawn, they usually can't use their stuff anyway. So um Yeah. Um and I usually end up having like five cards in my hand. So of course, I'm not going to show the deck list, but of course, you will have to use uh, free enemy controllers. 
obviously I use Vela to stop those wind up loops and stuff like that. Um, MSTs, I use three of them and obviously you have staples like Dark Hole. Um, I use Gauze because of the wind ups and because of um, generally because I sit behind one set Whistler. I like to have um, the opportunity just in case they are worried that it's something bad and then they dark hole my whistle and attack. Because if they if they just if they do that, then I'm in a bit of trouble. Um, but obviously, the bad side about this deck is you probably guessed it already. What happens if you draw into your evils swords? Um, Serato is not a problem. However, the worst ones are obviously the other two, Diplo and Volcano. If you do draw into them, they can be very annoying. However, when you do that Zenmeister play, where you summon one Evo, and then you have to summon another one, so that is one use for it, and then you go into Zenmeister, and then you flip Wrestler over and over. But both of them have pretty weak attack, so they're not very great. If You, you don't really want to draw them, that's why I only run two of each. And I run three Serratos. So, yeah. That is my little discussion about what the deck does, and I want just to make sure you understand exactly why the deck is so good, how the deck minus the top, and uh, why you should hoard evils now, make them go up in price, because I've already got my, my deck now, but why they are so good. So, thanks for watching guys, um, hope you like my video of YCS Lipzig. Um, yeah, I'm going to open some raw yellow packs probably tomorrow or the day after that, depending when they come in the mail. So check my blah, 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 check my channel and um, uh, subscribe. Uh, thanks to everyone who's subscribing. Um, I like how my, my subscribers have gone up. Um, I do it all for you guys because um, I really enjoy making these videos, but I also enjoy knowing that there's people watching. So, silly camera. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. TCG Lover out.